Well, I got the idea for Bobby's Triple Threat by watching an old movie uh, with Paul Newman and Tom Cruise called Color of Money. It gave me the idea to think about some other people um, who are at the top of their game, who could use a little mentoring, but also could you know, take, take the stage. Uh, the show is very, very simple. There's three titans. It's Brooke Williamson, Michael Voltaggio, and Tiffany Derry. I'm basically like the, like, the, like the matchmaker. I bring in one very, very skilled chef to take on all three of them. And if the chef can cumulatively beat the titans in terms of points, they get to take home $25,000. And they also get a locker in the club forever so that they can store their, uh, you know, a set of their knives and an apron so they're welcome here anytime. This show is really difficult for the challenging chef because, well, first of all, they have to take on three of the uh, toughest chefs in the business. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's all about stamina. It's, there, you know, it's, it's lots of cooking all in one night. So each one of these titans brings a different attitude, a different cuisine, and a different approach. You have Brooke Williamson, whose food is just always delicious, and it's uh, food that everybody wants to eat. Then you have, uh, Michael Voltaggio, who, you know, in some ways we call him the mad scientist. We don't have any idea what Michael's gonna do when he gets in the kitchen, and that's the great thing about Michael. So Tiffany Derry, she has an amazing uh, command of upscale Southern cuisine, but the secret to Tiffany is her world travels. She has traveled everywhere in the world, and you'll see bits and pieces of that inspiration in her cuisine, and you don't see it coming. It's a private club, it's got that feel, it's very clubby, and uh, you only get invited if you're here to challenge, or if you've been here before and you've won. It kinda has that sort of moody feeling, um, it's a little dressy, the, uh, the audience is uh, even dressed up a little bit more than on most cooking shows, um, and the goal here is to uh, witness some of the best food in the world taking place round after round. What, what does it take to win this competition? Um, well, tenacity, um, determination, focus, and lots of good flavor. If you are lucky enough to come in here and beat the Titans, you get uh, $25,000, um, uh, but it's not easy, and, there's, it's, and it's all or nothing. There's no partial wins, so you either, take, you either take home the 25,000 or you get zero. <laughs> The judging is also very different from most uh, cooking competitions. There's one single judge for the entire evening. It's a judge that I have a lot of respect for, somebody I've known in the past, somebody whose uh, credentials I really respect, um, and, uh, and, it's, and it's all on them. They have, very, they have a very hard but a very important job here. Could I, could I beat the three Titans? Um, I guess we'll have to find out one day. <laughs>